Left you hanging there, didn't I? I bet you really, really wanted to know what was behind this dragon statue. Just a tiny little room. With an extra life. Which is very appreciated because what's coming up is... Easily the most difficult part of this game. Also, we got a key. It's like a very... Very elaborate... Uh, thing for essentially just a janitor's closet. And that last small key goes to this door. We've only done with that key hunt. And we're in a completely new area of the crypt where we get, I guess, more of the commoners' graves. Well, probably not. I mean, a commoner would probably not be buried in a. So. In a crypt at all. Like this. I mean, before we had the super deluxe graves. You had the names on the coffins. Now we're getting... I don't know. I mean, this is still pretty luxurious, I guess, for a grave. But, you know, not quite as luxurious as before. No magic force fields to protect you. And these dudes also only come out as skeletons, whereas the previous ones were like... I don't know, actual ghostly figures? Oh, these skeletons, by the way, can't be hurt <coughs> by the blue weapon. They cannot be hurt by the green weapon. They can only be hurt by the yellow or gray weapon. Can also not punch them, I think. Also, to, wait a sec. No, just just ignore that. There's totally nothing going on here that might make this video not safe for work or something. Honestly, not sure. Like, at this rate, you, you cannot tell. Those might be nipples, or those might just be, like, dots above the nipples, or, like, over the nipples. And the French and their giant bats? Like, that, that bat is giant. Ow. Also, maybe I should adjust something here. Hold on. No 60 FPS for you anymore. That even makes a huge difference. But I hope it cuts down on the choppiness. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, now let's... Let's activate that checkpoint. So now... Uh, got these little platforms here. So let's destroy that. Um, they look pretty tiny and dangerous and like, hard to jump on. They're actually not. They're a lot larger than you think they are. I mean, look at this. If you just use the walk, you can really see how large they are. Most of these you can actually do standing jumps between. There's like one or two where that doesn't work. Oh, wow. That was... If you run as you enter this area, you will get hit by that steam. Now here comes the real tricky part. Well, here comes the easy part of the tricky part. Got this little slide here. Uh, someone managed to miss both of those engine pickups. You can uh, move left and right on the slide. Yeah, but that was the easy one. This is the difficult one. The real problem is that your jump has a weird special animation on the slides. And it goes on for quite a bit. And very often he will not grab onto any ledges, even though he technically could, but the animation is still playing. And now we've got these swinging axes. Uh, 
go over here. If you're all the way in the front of the platform, you can sometimes get hit and not actually get knocked off immediately, which is nice. Now you want to jump quickly because the platform will actually go back. As you can see. So if you take a little too long pondering whether you can make that jump, you will not make the jump. So that was actually the difficult part I managed to do it first try. I mean, take a guess why I might have been able to do that so quickly. Right, it's because I've done this like a hundred times. There's a little cracked wall there that we could take. Uh, but it doesn't actually go anywhere interesting. Okay. Now this part is actually also kind of difficult, this entire area here, but it's... The thing is, you don't necessarily die if you make a mistake. So it's alright. There's a little hole there. You can't actually die there. And there's this lever. So this gate. Could have gotten on the other side of that gate different way. The important part that you likely to miss you first do this is this because we're in here there's a lever that opens a gate that we would have gotten to at the very end of this area after some very annoying other slidey jumps that I actually forgot about until just now and if you hadn't pulled that lever, then, well, that would have been all for nothing. You would have had to come back, search for this lever, do all this. More importantly, though, some vases to destroy. Always nice to have more of those. And you might want to also check out the side room. Um, guess the green pearl is in here. Just, just saying. In case anybody cares. So now we've done that. Get back to the important stuff. There was an air spell on uh, that last slide. Uh, I forgot what it was. I think it might even be a spell that I've maxed out at this point. Maybe not. Um, here's another like water spell. I think that's an upgrade for the vampire spell. Okay, see, there, I jumped, but for some reason Solar decided not to grab onto that ledge. That's because of that awful jump animation that happens when you come out of the slide. Uh, what? I, I pressed circle. So here's the real kicker. It starts you off all the way back here. So you have to do all the slides, the axe, like swinging axe stuff, uh, and then the other slide. All in one go. That's where things get real fun. Okay. Finally made it back to this area, and I have one life left. This is part of the course, actually. Um, a few times I did this before and get, got to the final area, I also always had one life left. So, statistically, I'm pretty much done now. And it's guaranteed that I'm gonna make it this time. Actually, it's not. For a certain reason that... Well, you'll see next part. Or the one after that, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do this exactly. The trick there is to start the climb as they begin blowing steam. Finally. See, what did I tell you? It was guaranteed that I'd make it. So I'm gonna do this final jump. And we're done. We're done with that awful place. The rest of this now... Isn't so bad. 
at some enemies again. Might as well use some uh, ammo here. I mean, it's not like I've got tons of it. Remember, though, if you're playing any of the other characters, this is probably going to be a little different. See how shield and climbing that works. Huh, pretty well. And there we go. Oh, these dudes dead. Here's a safe point. Oh, nope, there's another one. No, I have to be careful here because I don't want to step into that safe point just yet. Okay. Normally I would end the part at a save point, but I don't think it's worth it in this case. Instead, we're gonna go on. And, um... This is the last save point in the game. Final boss fights up ahead. Kinda feels like it would be cool to end the part here and make that a separate part, but nope, not gonna do that. Let's heal up. Before we get to the boss fight, we have to do one more little thing. Let's cross this over to that side. As you can see, there's those dudes around. Can do, actually. Uh, Whistle spell might work. Yeah, it does. But also just ghost. Get past them without. Uh, without even uh, being noticed. And we kind of have to do that anyways, because there's a third one that I don't think... Oh, you can. I'm a little paranoid here, stepping off the edge, but... Yeah, you kind of have to exploit the good old... Um, hey, your vision cone is actually triangular, so you can look further at the edges than straight ahead. Trick. Now all we gotta do is make sure that we don't, you know, miss that platform. Sounds very simple, but you never know. Okay. Actually, I think there's another one on there. Oh, just to be sure. Let's quickly equip the ghost spell. Yep. If you get hit while you're on here, pretty much guaranteed that you fall and die. I'm just, I'm not even gonna bother. So here it is, final boss. Got one life. Great. Good thing is, he actually doesn't see us, I think. If we ghost, I can I bleed? Okay. So, right now, we could try hurting him. Not even our great weapon can do that, though. Oh, alright. Picked up a power up for that, didn't I? It's not quite max level. Have a spell? Let's be friends? Uh, well, 
So, yeah, we cannot hurt him. So, one interesting thing is that this enemy actually uh, uses spells on us. A lot of them. I think he can do most spells that we can do. Any offensive ones, anyways. So, obviously, we insert the green pearl into this. And nothing really happens. We still cannot hurt him. So, what we have to do... It's not really all that obvious. Kinda have to activate the pearl, I guess. That turns him into this thing. And now he has a life bar. We can still not hurt him, though. Ghost spell is really useful in this fight, as you can see. I'm wondering now whether one of the ghost spell upgrades actually makes it so that you can shoot while you're ghosting. Because I think I couldn't do that in the beginning. So that's a really useful upgrade that you should probably get. Um, let's show a little bit of the stuff that he can do. Like some, some of the spells that he throws at you. If I could only unghost, that'd be cool. Probably has some kind of melee attack too. Uh, yep. Wow, this ghost spell lasts ages now. There we go. So yeah, well, we've seen this one a bazillion times, the lightning spell. It actually got stronger when he uh, got into the second form here. Uh, he also has other spells. It'd be cool if he would show them up. I guess he doesn't want to uh, use any of those on us right now. I'm not sure whether there's a specific way of getting them out of them. Maybe he only uses them in his human form. Because I know that he can, for example, also miniaturize you. Uh, he can also cast a flame shield. Pretty sure he can also cast fireballs at you. He can do a lot of things. But right now he only feels like doing the lightning spell, I guess. So what's the point? Let's just, you know, if he doesn't want to play nice, I'm just gonna kill him. So the thing here is... You shoot the mirrors on the side, and for some reason, your projectiles will hurt them if you do that. Um, let's get the blast spell out. I'm not actually sure whether there's a way to hurt them with anything but the blue weapon. Considering you have to bounce them off, and only the blue weapon can really do that. Huh, apparently you cannot have two buffs on you at the same time. Good thing is that, um... There is some homing here. Actually, actually I'm, not, I'm not even sure whether the homing does anything. I don't know, you just spam... You know, the vague direction where they're gonna hit him, and you do that a bit, and then he dies. Done. That was it. Now we get these, uh, this little stairway here. Yeah, th th I'm not kidding, by the way, that was it. It was a, a little anticlimactic, maybe, but, um... Hey. I mean, after all that slidey bullshit, would you prefer an actually hard boss fight? So now we gotta pick up the green pearl again. You can still die here, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. If you just fall down to that chasm, you're dead. So I was about to demonstrate there. I wanna get back onto that beam. There we go.
And we're in this place. There's a little balloon. We can use that to get back to our buddies on the airship. But uh, we also got a trunk key and there's five trunks here. This is, I guess, kind of a new game plus mechanic. And a really interesting one of that too. Each of these trunks contains a cheat code. Now obviously I've already looked at all of them, written all of them down. But obviously also lost the paper on which I wrote them all down. Um, good thing I'm playing this on an emulator and I can just use uh, some little safe stating to get all of these. Put them in the description or something. Well, there's one to upgrade our weapon level. I know that these two are characters. Yes, there's two new characters you can unlock. Well, we better run this down. So I'm not gonna look at that again. Nah, I'm gonna put them all in the description anyways. But there's no need for you to see that. At last, victorious and free. Our comrades reached us at the top of the tower. For our part, we had managed to fix the naughty flyers. The green pill was so powerful, we cured the deadly epidemic in just a few hours. Our mission had been a success. We could scarcely believe it was over. I had even prepared a small firework to celebrate. I knew things would never be quite the same again. I didn't mention it, but I could feel a new power cursing through my veins. The power of a French accent. Yeah. One might think that maybe towards the end of the development of this game, they kind of ran out of budget or something? Or maybe they just completely forgot that they had to do a voiceover for this last cutscene uh, when they still had the original voice actor of Captain Lamar there. Or at least I think it was different voice actors. Maybe it was the same voice actor, but that'd be really weird. Anyways, we now get this song. Which is uh, interesting. So, we're done. Except not really. There's something we still need to do. I mean, you definitely saw that there was a big area that I didn't go to. That there was a thing that was, well, kind of a big thing throughout this entire game that we hadn't seen the payoff for that. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll be back, we'll, we'll check that out, and then we'll be done with this game. I mean, technically we still wouldn't might be done. There's, there's a few more things I would kind of like to show, but I would also like to see myself, because I haven't seen them yet. Um, because apparently there's 
at least two different endings. I would like to see what happens if you don't have enough bottles of gas or the pieces of the pearl container when you get to um, the end of level 7. Well, yeah, 7, I guess. Even though officially it's called. Wait a second. It's actually the... I'm confused now. Yeah, no, it is level 7. Officially it would be 6. Um, but I'm not sure what I... Like, I, I feel going through the game pretty much another time again. And the way that these things work, like the gas bottle stuff, there's really no easy way to do it quickly, sadly. So I don't know whether I'll ever do that. I would also have to beat the entire game on easy to see the other ending, and I think there's another ending somehow? Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> there's a lot of things I don't know about the game that I haven't shown, but... I mean, not that it's a bad game, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life just playing on T. But there's definitely going to be one more part we're going to show. Well, where we're going to see... You know, that, that one important thing. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>